You want to be able to withdraw $45,000 from your account each year for 30 years after you retire. You expect to retire in 20 years. If your account earns 9% interest, how much will you need to deposit each year until retirement to achieve your retirement goals? This problem looks simple, but it actually has two steps. The first step is that we're withdrawing money from an account. That means payout annuity. But then the second part says we're talking about depositing money. That means a regular annuity. So in fact, this problem is solved using both our payout annuity and regular annuity formulas. Let's start with our payout annuity. We are told that we want to be able to withdraw $40,000 from our account each year for 30 years. All right, so the payout annuity, if you remember, the formula says that the payout um, initial amount in our account is equal to our withdrawals, our regularly scheduled withdrawals, times the quantity of 1 minus the quantity 1 plus R over K raised to the minus NK, all divided by R over K. And in this formula, P0 is our initial starting amount, D is our withdrawals, R is our rate, K is the number of times we're withdrawing per year, and N is our number of years. So let's identify all of these variables using our information. First, we want to withdraw 45000 from our account each year. That means in our payout annuity formula, D is representing 45000 And let me write down, I've said it a couple times, but let me just write down again. This is our payout annuity formula, okay? That's our payout annuity formula. All right, so again, D is our withdrawals, and that's 45000 N is the number of years we plan to withdraw, which is 30 years. K, that tells us how many times we're withdrawing per year, and it says that we actually want to withdraw $40,000 each year, and so K for our problem is just 1. And finally, we have our interest rate. Our rate is, it says right here, 9%, so our R value is 0 0.09. The only unknown we have is the amount in our account that we're going to be withdrawing from. That's P sub 0. So let's calculate that first. So P sub 0 equals D, which is 45,000 times the quantity 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus R, 0 0.09, divided by K, 1, all raised to the minus NK. N times K is just 30 times 1, or just 30. So that's raised to the minus 30 power all divided by R, 0 0.09, over K. Let's plug this into Desmos and figure out what we get, or a scientific calculator if you have one. So using the free online calculator at www.desmos.com, I obtain the following that P sub 0, the amount from which we're withdrawing in our account, is equal to this number right here, which is 462,314.43. So that is the amount of money from which I am making my withdrawals. In other words, that's the amount of money that I need in my account if I want to withdraw $45,000 each year for 30 years. Okay. The problem overall is asking us, how much money will we need to deposit each year until retirement to achieve our retirement goals? 
Well, to achieve those retirement goals, we need to make this much money or have this much money in our account. So this P sub zero actually becomes the money that I need in my account in order to retire. So this will become in my annuity formula, P sub N, meaning it will be the future amount that I need to save up for. So now let's write down our annuity formula. Recall what the annuity formula says. The annuity formula says that the future amount in an account is equal to your scheduled deposit times the quantity of the quantity of 1 plus r over k raised to the positive kn minus 1, all divided by r over k. It's very similar to our payout annuity formula. The big difference is the position of the 1 being before or after the quantity inside, and also my exponent being positive instead of negative. So how do we use this annuity formula to finish our problem? Well, let's take a closer look. We are looking to find how much we want to deposit each year. That means in our annuity formula, we are searching for the value of D. Now we happen to know what R is. R is still 0 0.09. K is the number of times we're depositing. And since we're depositing each year, that means K is 1. And N? What about N? Do you see that this time, N is actually pertaining to this number right here. We are wanting to retire or expecting to retire in 20 years. That means we're going to be depositing money for the next 20 years. So n now becomes 20 for this portion of the problem. kn then is k times n or 1 times 20, which is 20. And p sub n the future amount that we want to have in our retirement account is going to be that amount that we found by using the payout annuity at the beginning. This is the amount that we need upon retirement. I'm actually going to round it up. 462,314.44 cents. And the reason I'm gonna round it up is because the money I needed my account in my account was slightly more than 43 cents. So I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I'm gonna round that up to 44. All right, that being said, we're now ready to solve for D. There's two ways to solve for D. Either we can use algebra, plug all our numbers in and solve for D, or we can use that formula off our formula sheet where the algebra has already solved the expression for us. If we rewrite our annuity formula to put D on the left side, we would get that D is equal to our future value in the account, or P sub N, times R over K, divided by that whole big quantity, 1 plus R over K, raised to the NK minus 1 quantity closed. I think I'll just use that formula as it is, plug it into Desmos, and see what happens as far as D. What do we get for D? Plugging all our values in the proper places, namely P sub N, replacing that with 462,314.44, replacing R with 0.09, k with 1, n k with 20, we get the following. That d is approximately equal to 9036.617, or if we like, our annual deposits are going to be $9,036.62. This is how much money we will need to deposit every year if we want to retire in 20 years and be able to withdraw 45000 from our account each year for 30 years. To summarize, 
This problem involved two parts. We had to start with our payout annuity formula to calculate how much money we needed in our retirement account. And then we had to use our annuity formula to determine how much each year we needed to deposit to make that amount of money. Good luck as you work this problem out. If you have any questions, just let me know.